Hello cuties! Welcome back to another video with Luna Mikkelsen and today I would like to show you how to restring a ball jointed doll. I have a USD sized doll here and uh, of course uh, all the tools I need. Scissors, then new elastics, then a wire to help me uh, pull everything uh, through the doll and these chopsticks instead of chops uh, metal chopsticks you can use uh, basically anything uh, it just needs to be sturdy because of of course it needs to hold um, the elastics which will be a little bit strong so make sure you're not just using a toothpick or anything like this and here's uh, some thread um, which also will be very helpful uh, first i will show you how to um, unstring the doll and then change the strings so let's start okay first of all let's put aside the tools and here is our doll of course first we have to undress her Okay, so I always put everything like it had been, like uh, this part was here and this part was here, so it not get, so I'm not getting confused. Uh, sometimes, like this here, they have a little L or R inside, um, which means left and right, of course. But not all dolls have that, so keep that in mind, please. Uh, otherwise, maybe when you put the doll back, maybe it will just look weird and it won't stand and it won't pose. So um, I think that is very important. Just uh, be very, very organized when we're stringing a doll. And you can see these elastics had better days already. I just noticed maybe mine are a little bit thicker, but maybe it just is uh, because it just maybe looks like that because the old one is a very, very dirty. Um, not sure how long it has been in this doll, uh, but maybe since uh, this doll was made, I think it was like five years ago. So yeah, finally, this cutie is getting new elastics and maybe she will even post better. So I won't need um, the wiring anymore because I'm not a very big fan of wiring. But yeah, we, we will just uh, check it out and uh, I would say we just uh, start with restringing. Um, what I want to say also is she was uh, strung with just one elastic, it was just inside her body like this. 
I am not sure. Maybe I won't do it like this. I have to check out how big uh, the place here is for maybe two knots. Oh, yeah, I have to check it out. Let's see. Yeah, there is not much space. But maybe I can pull the string so the knot is more, more like here. So it won't interfere with the arm elastics. So yeah, I would say we just try it. To measure the elastics, I, uh, sorry, I put it like this. like this here should be the s hook the big one this one and then i put it like this this is way too long so I... what about this it's still way too long and this a little bit better keep in mind you still need to do the knot this shall be okay course for the other side is the same length so you can just measure it like this also if you don't know what to buy usually online stores say it's for USDs, MSDs, SDs um, otherwise you have to ask people I don't know the size of this one it just said S. I hope it's the right size. I'm also not quite sure right now because this is much more thinner. But we will just check it out, I would say. So, this body is a little bit more difficult because it just is one piece. There is no other joint in between. Um, so maybe getting the elastics through it will be a little bit difficult. But I, ha I have this wire which I will use to help me. Make sure the wire is long enough to pull it through everything. I think this is fine. It's just a small bone. This cutting. Once again, this wire is just a tool. I'm not wiring the doll with it. So this is the tool so I can pull everything through it. Now let's start with number one. First I do the knot. Oh yeah, it's very big actually. <laughs> Hopefully it's fine. Okay, that was maybe a fail. Make sure the knot is very strong and not too close to the ends. You saw it just good. Maybe this is fine. Yes. Okay. This is a little bit tricky with the one piece part. Ah, you can see it's coming out already. You have to be just a little bit patient sometimes. Number one. So now we have it like this and like this. Here I already put in the 
a sock for the neck, for the head, sorry. Ja -ja. So part number one is done. Now I pull here to let the knots hopefully slide inside. I'm not sure if, if I can do it because they look so damn big. Let's see. Okay, just try to push them through with my scissors. Or even with the metal chopsticks if you have one or something similar. Oh, it's working very good. Because we don't want knots inside our leg. It's maybe even impossible to put them through. If you have a body with with a joint here, it's more easy because there's more space inside the chest for the knots. This one is not really tricky. Also, I need to check if I can still pull the head, uh, pull the S hook for the head. Otherwise, I cannot put the head back. Let's see. Why this is so long now? Maybe it's because yeah, because the knot is stuck in there now. I'm a little bit scared. Maybe here I cannot pull through the strings of the arms. I will just give it a try. First the arms and let's see. With the arm it's the same. So I know the length, length. Just a little bit. And do like this. Keep in mind, you still have to make them. This is fine. Maybe. I don't know where the knot should be now. <laughs> don't worry, I still have enough. Maybe I need to change it to just one thingy patini. One elastic. Maybe it's a little bit long. Let's check it out. Just somehow need to squeeze it through the elastics from the legs. Ah, I use the back side. Oh, that was easy. Okay, let's see. Push through it, baby. Well, it's inside. It's not in the middle. It's more here, but it is inside, so that's fine. So we can now just push it through like this. So it's the same, kind of. It's also kind of the same. Okay, now comes the part that we just um, push through. How say that even? Pull uh, the elastics through the legs and arms. And then we are done already. Um, if you want better posing, there are many methods uh, you can use. One method is you just buy these silicone rings and put them in between all the joints. I only have these three right now. Um, 
I will buy more later. Uh, but first I will see how, how the doll is posing. If it's not good at posing, I will use the wiring again, which uh, she already had from the previous owner. Um, or you can uh, use a hot glue gun and um, yeah, put a little bit of glue here and there. Glue uh, from the hot glue gun works like the silicone ring actually. Um, but it can be tricky, maybe you put too much glue then it just sticks out and it does, does not look good. So uh, I would only use this method for uh, SDs or bigger dolls. Uh, and for the smaller dolls, I think uh, silicone rings and the wiring is the best choice. So let's get into putting this baby together. She's waiting. She's looking at me very, <laughs> with a very sad face. Like, eh, what are you doing? Okay, girl. Um, we start with the arms. There I can also show you how to add the silicone ring. I want it to be in the shoulder. So you take it and first is the silicone ring, which is going through. You have to be careful to not destroy it. I will check out if, if it's even small, uh, big enough. Looks good so far, if you ask me. Ta -da. Also, later I will show another restringing tutorial for a bigger doll because that is a little bit more difficult and I have another tool which I will show there but I don't have it here in Korea so that will have to wait until I'm back in Germany Basically, these are meant to go in here if you cannot hold the string, but this is a small doll, so it's easy. Oh my god, I think a Mogi is attacking me, a mosquito. <laughs> so I just do it like this. And these are very good, you see? Oh, how? Yeah, like this. Basically, it's the same now with the other arm. I would say I messed up. It's a little bit too long. Okay, so um, it was a little bit too long, so I made it a little bit shorter. And um, yeah, just uh, without camera, just uh, again um, attached the arms. Now it uh, seems to be quite a good length, I think. And you see, because of the rings, the posing uh, on the shoulders uh, is uh, very good already. I think I will go to a shop and get more silicone rings. Um, I really like it better than the wiring. Um, yeah, and you have to do the same with the legs, actually. Number one is finished. Mm -hmm. 
ah, I show you in this case I would just use the chopsticks to do like this then you can remove the wire for pulling then you have the S hook here and very easy you can attach the foot I hope you can see it and then slowly remove the chopstick or whatever you're using and slowly pushing through oh, where does it belong here and it's done I still have a silicone ring for the neck which I apply like this actually through. These, by the way, break so easy. Um, so be careful. Then I lift up the S hook a little bit and it's done. Same with the hands. Of course, later I will dress her, so I have to remove the hands again. But maybe for the legs but they're, they're better than before actually I will just just add it um, to make sure she will pose like before you just push through it if you can <laughs> Sometimes it can be a little bit difficult. So don't give up, I say. <laughs> yeah, see, now it's so much better. Very good. Maybe I push it from here. It's more easy. Indeed, more easy. Very good. Ta -da. My very first doll, uh, after I restrung him, it was a 70 centimeter tall resin sole doll. Uh, he was so floppy, I could just grab him and he was just like, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> So, if that happens to you, don't be scared. Unstring, it, unstring your doll again and just make the strings shorter just step by step if it's uh, just error and trial error and trial many times it does not matter it's just uh, um, there is no no failure I think maybe your strings are too short then you have a problem but if you shorten it step by step slowly always a little bit at some point you will have the right length um, so don't worry about that yeah so restringing is done I can put back the head oh I usually do it with with a thread with a big thread like this her with new strings not clean yet <laughs> but yeah I have the feeling it's already way better she was a little bit more floppy before so this was my little tutorial about how you can or how you restring a doll and if you have any questions uh, do not hesitate to leave a comment down below and uh, don't forget to subscribe and give me thumbs up if you like this video and yeah i would say we see each other in my next video bye 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 bye